da 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 May I present to you the best first person shooter game out there? Top G! Really? You've got to be kidding me, right? And that's what I thought, until I saw that the first few days of release, you can get it for free. So I installed the game, bearing in mind that it would be a high graphical game, destroying my FPS. And, wow, I actually installed pretty quickly. <clears throat> Fortnite. After looking at the endless pages of server issues in the review section, I finally booted up the game. 1 out of 10. In all honesty though, I now understand why it only took 30 seconds to install, despite the lack of detail on everything. It is overall a great game until the server dies on you, just as you're about to get that W. I thought that talking about the game in general would be a bit boring, so I decided to hop in some games and do some comments. Wait a minute. Criticism over the top of it. But first, before I played some ragdoll simulator, I needed to create a character. After looking at the customizability options, I decided to try at the buttons at the bottom. Firstly, let me say that I thought I pressed the randomize all close button, but soon found out that what I pressed was the remove all close button and quickly realised and changed my selection. After I messed around with the stars for a while, I somehow settled on a business ninja with no trousers on, yet to say nothing covering his manly sausage. Now that my concerns are out the way, let's play a game. Wait, no I can't because after reading the countless reviews on server issues, I still didn't listen and I paid a price as apparently the only place in the whole of the world that were playing the game on this server is me and someone else. After waiting what seems like decades, I eventually quit and went on to another server, only to realise that I was the only player. No surprise there. And don't worry, this happened again and again and again. And finally getting into a server with civilization on it, I went over to a bunch of people to notice that someone was misjudging themselves for a winner, or as they spelt it, Winner. Once the game started, I headed straight for... Dodd-Skriven? and ran towards the nearest house, but quickly stopped by a man on the motorcycle trying to run me over. He went to the house where I was going to go, got off his bike when I showed up behind him, started having a fight with me, so I got on his bike, but to soon realised that I wasn't moving, therefore the situation ended up like this. Next game. Great. This is when I found out that the NA West server outruled them all, with 95 players looking to join. But despite the 95 players, I found no players. What on earth are you trying to do landfall? Finally getting into another game took me ages, so I'll keep this one brief. I landed at industry, failed to climb the box, got some ammo, and quickly swept up two guns along with more ammo. And with that package, I also received a very bad sound glitch. I heard explosions at the same time of picking up an impulse grenade, which worried me a little, I'm not gonna lie, and headed off picking up all the ammo I could find. At this point though, somebody thought it was a good idea to jump at me and start punching me. I knew I had the advantage, I pressed the button to fire, nothing came out. This was, as you could tell, due to the gun not being preloaded, and resulted in you dead. Next game. Landed at big work, instantly found a gun and some ammo. Remember to load it, made my way over to an empty zone and back again. Grabbed some bandages that I missed before and spotted my enemy yet to fight with. Chicken man. I turned around to get a closer look to see that he had vanished. He jumps out, loads his gun as I take my shots, missing them all. Once his gun was ready, he took the shots, succeeding his mission. We then fought some more. I stepped back to heal myself with the bandages that I had missed before. I take my blow and he was dead. Wait, what? He survived? I stepped back and loaded my gun. He shot me, healed, he shot me, I missed. Ready to take my perfect opportunity to take him out. And boom, out of nowhere, this dude comes in and beats me up with a riot shield. Bye bye. Next game. No players. Next game, no players. Just the sweet sound of my ragdoll self beatboxing. 
Next game, I land at Dogskiven. Again, land on top of a house, go inside the house, pick up ammo, a crossbow, and a shovel. Because why not? I hear firing, run away to another house, and find some ammo, and an 8x scope. I hear firing again, I look around and see a guy with a taser-like crossbow carelessly aiming at me. I sneak up behind him and take the kill, looting him afterwards. Then I get shot at and take lots of damage, so I run away whilst he still shoots. I hide behind a tree. Not good enough. I run to a nearby rock. I heal up. And I run some more. I add my scope to my crossbow, quickly using it afterwards. Later on, go to another house, find a motorbike, it doesn't work, check the controls, they're correct. I hear car noises, so I go back to the motorbike. Still nothing. At this point, I realised that I had no fuel, so I ran towards the ring, which had passed me a while ago. I was certain I was going to bye bye, but just in the distance, I see a bike. Not a motorcycle, but I'll have to do. I jump on the bike and pedal as fast as I can, whilst bumping into many trees. I arrive at the wall, speeding up, getting closer, and I made it, just in time. But to no surprise, I'm greeted by Mr. Balaclava. I pedal away. Later on, six players left, the rings are getting closer, I get shot. I take my shot, reload and miss, resulting in death. The next game is simple. I find the motorbike with fuel. I see a guy walk into the house. I drive on. I eventually come to a stop and check out a car, but see that the same guy had found the motorbike too and had followed. He tries to punch me, so I steal his bike and leave. I take damage and I pick up pace. I stop at a house, ready to go inside until I hear a noise. It is apparent that the same guy had been following me throughout my whole journey. So I got on my bike and left. I come to another house, find an impulse grenade, ammo and my first gun of the game. If I saw this guy again, I would surely get him. Later on, I turn around, there he is, I shoot, and miss, I drive away, bump into what is probably everything I saw, I gain control again, and I take a run up, I ride closer to him, I start to fire, he gets off his bike, and shoots, you're dead. So, that was Tab G, a fun, accurate, ragdoll style shooter. I have never personally won a game myself, mostly because I suck at FPS games, but still had the time of my life, driving around in a motorbike that didn't even have any fuel. So in reality, I wasn't moving. Oh, and before I go, I had to go in the shooting range. And I don't know how, but it somehow ended up like this. Yeah, I love that. <laughs>